Intermittent fasting tip, one of the best intermittent fasting tips that I could give you to really maximize your fat burning potential to lose fat on an alkaline diet. One of the main reasons why a lot of people steer away from intermittent fasting or don't want to try it or say, oh, it's too hard. I can't do it. I love to eat. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day and blah, 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 blah. Well, the reason why they do that and they say that is because of the hunger pains. That's one of the main reasons why most people fail at intermittent fasting. They succumb to the hunger pains. Now, that's what I want to talk about specifically. The main tip for intermittent fasting is to not give in to those pains, right? Don't give in to the hunger pains. Just wait it out. You might be saying to yourself, hey, Justin, no shit, Sherlock. Duh, but it's hard because I'm hungry. Especially if you just started intermittent fasting, it could be uh, very difficult. But here's the thing with the hunger pains, okay? Your body has a response when you haven't consumed any calories aka energy for the body your body gives you a response hunger pain is a response to go find food a hundred thousand years ago when our ancestors felt those hunger pains they knew that it was time to go um, find food go hunt down the woolly mammoth go climb some trees to get berries, whatever the case may be, right? But here's the interesting thing. Think about 100,000 years ago, cavemen time. Say that they felt those hunger pains, which that was the only reason for them to go try to find food that was very primitive, right? During that time period, when they had those hunger pains and they felt weak and they felt hungry and they was tired, right? In that time, how could they hunt down a willy mammoth to eat, right? It would take them energy to do that. It would take them effort to do that. It would take strength to do that. So if they were hungry, if they were tired, if they were having all these hunger pains, how did they have the strength to go hunt down something to eat and consume? Well, here's the trick. Our bodies are very smart and it adapted for those, those specific times. What the body does is when you are in a state of hunger, it triggers to the brain, hunger pain, go ahead and go eat, find food. But what if you don't have food right in front of you? Well, it takes about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. But after those 30 minutes, the body taps into its fat stores. It taps into your fat on your body right? It's, we are very adapted to use our own body fat as fuel. It's called ketones, right? And when it does this, you get a flush of endorphins. You get a flush of dopamine. You get a, a flush of serotonin. You get a flush of energy and you feel so much better, right? so much better. You, you just feel amazing. And this is one of the main reasons why I love intermittent fasting, because it gives you those endorphins and you feel amazing when you get flushed with all of that clean energy. What do I mean by clean energy? When you eat food, it gets it gets converted into energy and the leftover gets converted into fat stores. And it goes through a metabolic process and all those fat, fat cells in your body are energy, energy sources that when you are fasting or when you're asleep, it taps into those energy sources and it's a clean source of energy, the best energy that you can ever get. So people sometimes think that when they fast, they're going to feel tired all the time. No, you're going to go through those periods, right? As soon as you feel those hunger pains, same way with your ancestors, when they got that burst of energy, they were able to hunt down a willy mammoth to eat, all right? But here's the thing. After those 30 minutes and you get that boost of energy, right, it'll last you for a couple hours, an hour, hour and a half or two hours. 
and then you'll go through a period of those hunger pains again. That's the brain, that's the body telling you, hey, it's time to eat. Have you found some food yet? If so, let's eat so we don't have to tap into the food stores because your body doesn't want to use its fat stores as energy because we're survival machines. We want to keep as much fat on our body as possible. That's why it's hard to diet. That's why it's hard to lose weight. That's why it's hard to lose fat, right? But if you don't eat, guess what? It taps back into those fat stores again. And that happens every couple of hours throughout the day that you fast, all right? For me personally, right now, what inspired me to do this video is I've been up since about uh, seven o'clock. I usually wake up at five and I don't eat till about 12 or one, right? And it's about 1240 right now and been fasting for a while. And about an hour ago, I had those hunger pains, right? But I've been doing intermittent fasting for over four, four and a half years now. So I know what happens afterwards. I know that if I don't eat anything, 30 minutes later, I'm going to feel amazing. And that's what keeps me pushing the fast. So here's the tip. Just push past that 30 minutes, right? Just push past those 30 minutes. Then you'll be able to fast longer and fast for more, um, for more time. During those 30 minutes, when you feel those extreme hunger pains, and it may be more extreme for people who haven't done intermittent fasting before. But if you have, you, you kind of get the, you, you know those waves, you know those hunger waves, right? But during those times, drink tea, drink coffee, black coffee, drink water, drink sparkling water. Sparkling water probably, probably is the best because it blunts your appetite very well. Also, black coffee blunts your appetite very, very well during those times. Um, and also, black coffee um, boosts cognitive function. Um, mental clarity and um, gives you energy as well. So that those fasting and coffee works um, synonymous together, um, very, very much in sync. But this is the best way to burn fat right throughout the day without having to do anything. Right. I'm not talking about working out what you should be doing. I'm not talking about eating salads all day, which you should have a salad. You know, a couple times a week. I'm talking about just not eating. And getting your work done. I've been over there working all morning, as you can see my, my setup, Fuel Yourself University. If you need help with losing weight, going vegan, or becoming the best version of yourself, click the link below and um, set up a free vegan consultation call with me. That's my company, my um, program, Fuel Yourself University. But I'm talking about fasting. If you can do this, if you can do this, your weight loss journey is going to be so much better. You're going to be able to lose fat at a rapid pace and fasting produces something called growth hormone, which helps you build muscle. So you're actually when you fast, you're actually building muscle and losing fat at the same time simultaneously. What could all the alkaline vegans out there? If you want to go alkaline as well and you want to build muscle, have a free alkaline meal plan below completely Dr. Sabi approved, completely electric high protein it's going to give you some amazing results okay so if you want to build muscle on an alkaline diet while you're fasting of course click the link below and grab that it's only 29 dollars. look if you don't have 29 dollars for your goals i can't help you nobody is going to be able to help you i promise you that other than that till next time fuel yourself don't fool yourself i'm about to go meditate talk to y'all soon